Look at this, guys. It says eggs, and we're gonna open it up, and look at here, we've got a ball python wrapped around eggs. This is actually a pastel female bred to a black pewter cypress, so definitely a really cool combo right here. But the truth is, is that you guys may remember, this wasn't the girl that I've been checking the last few days. It happened to be a piebald female. So my day really started this way. Let's go ahead and rewind the tape. So is today gonna be the day? I think we need a little bit of dramatic music and maybe a few slow-mo shots. No eggs, but guess what? Actually, Olivia right here told me that there is a clutch of eggs, which brings us back to the beginning of this vlog. <laughs> and we are back. Ooh, that's a feisty little monkey right there. Before we pull this clutch, we can actually set up an egg box. Now the fun part. Let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. And again, she's a feisty little monkey. Whoa, mama, slow down. I know, this is pretty crazy. Again, this is theoretically the second clutch of the year, but I'm gonna count this as the first clutch of the year because the first clutch was a disaster with that pin head for pie. Uh, I can't believe, the thing is, I didn't even have this female mark grab it yet. I had her still breeding, and here she has this beautiful clutch of eggs. Now let's try to get her off her eggs. Come on, girl, you're all right. Ooh, doggy, I tell you, that's what you wanna see. Starting the year with slugs was really kind of traumatic because you start thinking like, oh my God, did the temperatures go wrong? Or look at this girl too. She really wants to protect her eggs. But the fact is, is that now that I've got a good clutch of eggs, it makes me just kind of calm down and just be more happy. Let's see if we can get these eggs without this girl. Come on, girl. Whoa, come on, come on. You're a good mama. You're such a good girl. And again, this is just a big, beautiful pastel female that was bred to a black pewter cypress, which, whoa, gosh, that's close calls, close calls. Come on, mama. You're okay. One egg looked like it rolled over on me here. I'm just trying to get this off here. You're okay, mom. We'll get these in right here. We'll go ahead and candle this egg up because again, it could roll. Now that black pewter cypress is actually a black pastel. It's a pastel and it's a cypress. And again, it's bred to a beautiful pastel female, meaning we can get those silvery snakes. But last year, the silvery snakes were cinnamon. This year, they'll be black pastel, which should make them even more silvery purple. And that is absolutely gonna be incredible. We've got two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs. And that hide and that genetic shark. But oh my gosh, mom, calm down. We're gonna go ahead and get her back because she is definitely really upset at me right now. And again, that pied and that genetic stripe literally should be laying any day, but this was a complete surprise clutch. I seriously don't know how this happened because if you look right here, she was bred just a handful of weeks ago and she was only at 20 millimeters follicles when I last ultrasound her. So somehow she went from 20 millimeters to ovulating to laying a clutch of eggs, which I don't even understand how that's possible. But hey, I'm not complaining because we have eight beautiful pearly white eggs that are gonna produce some amazing things. Egg season is here everybody. I love it. And just for the heck of it, let's just cue the egg song. Just for you guys that don't remember, we're actually looking for a network of veins and then ultimately a little black dot with a little air sac on the top. You can see right here, you can actually see the little air bubble and a little dot. That is actually the baby snake. That needs to be right side up. All right, so these guys are gonna go in the incubator and the egg season is officially on the way when it comes to ball pythons. That pie girl better lay tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. Hope the start of your days are absolutely amazing. So we filled a Kong ball up with fish and mealworms for our boy Toothless over here. We don't know if it's gonna work, but let's try it. Oh, look at him go. He's getting big. I know, isn't it crazy, Noah? He's getting big! And now all I'm gonna do is just lead him to this blue ball. Let's see if he can figure it out. There's a super worm coming out right now. There's a super worm coming out right now and it looks like Toothless is keying in on. Come on, bud. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's sticking his head in there. He's doing it. He's sticking his head in there. Oh my god! He's in, he's, he's in there. It's like a dog. He grabbed a piece of fish out. He did it. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work. It worked. Let's go. Oh my goodness, he's just swallowing out. This, now this will be fun to see if he goes back in and starts to search for mealworms and more pieces of fish. Because there are a couple more pieces of everything in there. It's going back for seconds. Let's see what he grabs out. Oh, come on, get it. Get it, boy. He's got his nose in now. He's definitely searching. 
This is awesome. I think we just proved something that this is a great exercise for these reptiles because without a doubt he was using his brain. He didn't know what to do for a few minutes there. He was just sniffing around, not doing anything. And then he finally figured it out. I have to stick my head in the hole and grab the food out. I think he's getting a little frustrated. He's like, come on, I just want this food. Oh, but he got a hook with his claw. He got a piece of the fish with his claw. And he got the whole thing out with a couple worms. It's like a reptile pinata. <laughs> but that was awesome, guys. That was way better than I expected. I can't believe he actually stuck his head in there and got some food. That's a good one. So I ended up getting the vaccine today. I got my Derna, of course got my sticker. I've got my little Band-Aid on my arm over here. Uh, really, it was absolutely amazing. It's been a handful of hours now. I still feel pretty good. I'm sure I will be completely fine. And again, I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do. I'm just telling you that I personally am super happy that I got my first shot. Can't wait to get my second shot and be fully vaccinated. You know, listen, we all know that this pandemic has been difficult on everyone. And to me personally, I think the only way out of this is to get vaccinated again i'm never going to judge you half the crew here are getting vaccinated as a matter of fact a bunch are getting it tomorrow jay actually got it yesterday and there's a few people in the crew that just don't want to get it i understand that i just want to tell you that i encourage you to do it because i want this to be behind us i want to see your smiling faces not your mass face at the reptarium in the future so i'm pretty excited that i finally am part of the solution and uh, again i'm going to encourage you guys to do it like i said as of now it's really not that big of a deal uh, and hey whatever happens even if you get some side effects it's worth it in the end to go back to a normal life bro what the heck is this it's a spotted turtle is that a real thing yeah it's a real never thing seen it. have you ever turtle. seen one yeah they're that, super they're super i've rare. never seen this that's no, pretty cool literally i actually said to beth last night i took it to her and said oh some kid left there yeah <laughs> yeah 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 it looks like a gucci turtle literally i i came into the gift shop and i was like beth what is this and she was like literally lori put it on the shelf like five minutes ago i, I, I was the first thing i saw so the thing is absolutely adorable I tell you what guys, I am not kidding you when I say that these mole snakes are becoming some of my favorite snakes that I've ever worked with. They kind of remind me of a like combination of like a bull snake, you know, Pichuophis, gopher snake, whatever, and then an indigo or Kribo snake. They're just a very unusual animal and just super cool. I mean, just look at the color on this male right here. And then of course the female's absolutely gorgeous too. We're trying to breed them. I have no idea what I'm doing or how it's going, but hopefully with any luck, we can have some baby mole snakes because that would be absolutely incredible. I have to ask you a serious question that's really burning my mind. So you know I got vaccinated today. If I would have died, would you have kept going with the reptarium? Yes, you're gonna keep going. Because there's always a chance I still might die by the end of the day. Probably not. Okay, there's probably very little chance of that. But I just want to make sure you're going to continue. I uh, am going to continue. Are you going to do the 3.0 and 4.0? Because I need to know. So what's going to happen is all the Brian tours are going to have to get contacted because I'm going to probably have to do those and the price is going to go up. Oh. So. <laughs> I went, so what's to, a, what's a Lori tour? What's a Lori tour? It would have to be at least double of that. At least double okay so you guys uh, that have brian tours you better hope that i don't die it's going to be expensive for you guys so okay but good so 3.0 4.0 good right i want to my my i want to come haunt you in the stingray tank okay okay good so you guys are set we're going 3.0 4.0 even if i don't make it it's going to happen thank you Lori. and uh, artemis prime is just uh, chilling i walk around the corner Oh, yeah, hey Noah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I walk around the door, I'm like, what is Artemis doing? Yeah. Didn't you see You just spend some time with your girl, Argy? Yeah, she had a private tour book, so I was just showing her around the place. Oh, really? Yeah. She's enjoying the tour? Yeah, you can get them at thereptarium.com. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Noah tours with Artemis. Uh, yeah, so that's perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Drogo loves his little camouflage blanket. So me and Lori got the idea that we actually are going to give him this little sloth friend and see if he likes to hang out with him too. So if you didn't know, sloths are actually super, super intelligent and they love that mental stimulation and um, enrichment. Other than his ropes and things like that with climbing, we do like to give him other things to smell, to be able to look at and things like that. So he loves his blanket. We've been watching on the cameras. He'll pick up his blanket and move it around. But so we got the idea to go ahead and give him this little teddy bear here and see if he's going to interact with this guy just like he does with the blanket. That's <laughs> always awesome to see little babies. These are some little baby children. Chinese cave geckos that just hatched out today. Jessica's not here, so she'll be excited to see these for tomorrow. They are so cute when they're like this. That orange little head, the cool banding, they are absolutely amazing. So they certainly are tiny, but at the same time, super cute. So, hey, listen, we got eggs today, and now we got babies. I'd say that's a pretty good day for a reptile breeder. Guess what, guys? I'm now qualified 
while I'm vaccinated to go on traveling trips. Can you please come and look at the spot. Okay, but go. we gotta go chill because I don't want him to move. What is, he, what is he doing? Like he's just sitting, he's just sitting, but he's sitting in a spot in a way I've literally never seen him. <laughs> this guy is still always so crazy. What is he doing up there? <laughs> he's got his arms crossed. <laughs> it's like, it looks like a nest with like something coming out of the nest. That is the craziest. So he's hanging on with his, his back, back legs, legs and then back. he has his, <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's wild. <laughs> what? No, I've never seen anything like that before. That is one bizarre slaughter. <laughs> Drogo, what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't that so weird? That's bizarre. If you like walk, if you walked it into like the rainforest and saw that, it would be the most scary thing you've ever seen. That yeah. is crazy. It looks like he's sitting on something. I, I think it actually looks like he's about to prophesy. That's what it is. <laughs> oh. he's, he's about to tell us something very important for the future. What is it, Drogo? He winked at me. Yes, he said, it's a sign. We're getting otters. We're get oh, Drogo said we're getting otters. Yes! <laughs> Look at these little gators. They got such little attitudes. Hey, little buddy, come on over here. Come on over here. Arr, look, at he'll come up and he'll literally try to bite on me. But he's just a cute little monkey. Come here, silly. Of course, these are our little gators that we got just a couple months back from Gatorland that were just little tiny babies. They are growing up so quick. And of course, we have Dwayne the Croc Johnson in here as well. This is not him. Uh, this one's a little bit more feisty, and I love it. Look at that little monkey right there. So cute. Unfortunately, you guys know that we keep these only for, you know, anywhere from eight to 10 months and then we take them back to Gatorland and then we get new ones and raise them up. So I definitely get a tremendous bond with these guys and it's always hard to get rid of them, but they are absolutely adorable. But the fact is, is that having baby alligators is really cool. It works out great for us and it works out great for Gatorland. So uh, we will put all the love and training into these guys for the next eight or 10 months and then we'll get new babies and do it all over again. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor. Here's a playlist of snake eggs. We got snake eggs today, right? On this side, you can actually subscribe to this channel please turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow